in the red at the bottom left side of our map. It's not snow, it's TSA Lake. Yep. Those headphones from Razor do change colors. As uh, the APM increases in the blue, we have Ujista. best macro in the business. He is quite a macro fiend. There he is. Yellow headphones. Oh my god, that must be so fast. Whoa. There's <laughs> rain. Terrible Look at those terrible luscious terrible. lips. <laughs> I'm just saying. This makes Thank me you. want to eat a piece of fruit. Makes you want to eat a piece of watermelon. Mm -hmm. I love watermelon. It's so tasty. You know, fruit is really just nature's candy. Ah. I thought sugar cane was nature's candy. <laughs> now, we have the refinery on the way. Both these guys standard builds. I do actually recommend Top's build. I know I, I joked a lot about um, the Top's position with the depot on this map. I know I joke a lot at, uh, in previous seasons about your newbie friend being like, but that block's a depot, and then you're like, no, I got it, and you sink it. But in a main this small, we actually, uh, you, you don't have a lot of space. You don't. Uh, so you might as well keep it as compact as possible. Yeah. You got to do that. And sometimes you want to set them up so that they can stop Hellings from running around as much. Stuff like that. We see now top rain, actually. I'm sorry. Going into the base as top does, too. Both scouting each other, making their Marines. Very similar build orders thus far. Yeah. TVT on this map. The, I, ideally, if I could give any of you guys at home advice with TVT on this map, a lot of it is about controlling your opponent's Zelnaga Watchtower. Trying to get some siege tanks up there. That means it's going to be very tough for them to take the gold base. Uh, as long as you can watch for medevac drops and stuff like that, you, you're going to be in pretty good shape. Top right now, doing a great job of controlling the Zelnaga Watchtower. His factory going up for rain. Second gas as well. Whereas Top not getting a second gas, but is getting his factory. There we go. Second gas going up, though. Just as I say that, he's like, nah, I'll get it. Never mind. I hate it when that happens as a commentator. Mm -hmm. You're like, ah, oh, okay. It's like, well, that's kind of a funny timing on that gas compared to rain. You're going to have 10 less gas, man. Bunker. You gotta be careful. You know, sometimes these people do come across with one of these little timing pushes. If you're not gonna make a hell in, you, without the bunker, you might be uh, a little bit scared. Now we have a factory add-on on the way in. I, am I? I don't know. You know what? You know what it is. I played so much StarCraft One. I want to say that you should never make that there, but I guess it's actually fine because he's gonna swap it with the starport. Mm. You know, in StarCraft One, if you if those guys never played it. it the units always spawned at the bottom left. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes when I see a building stuck down at the bottom, I'm like, no, they're going to get stuck. But you can, of course, rally them out yeah. to a different direction. I've been getting more and more stuff uh, stuck recently. And in fact, that depot tasteless was meant specifically for blocking little drops from running past. That's really interesting. A DP oh, wow. There. Talk about advanced. Uh, so you can tell your newbies friends that wanted you to tell that story just one more time about the depot going down. Yeah, that's the another. That's another moment where you could just impress your new friend. Yeah. You're like look at that, I have a little wall now. You ever had a nub friend that's watching you play StarCraft Two and keeps talking to you during the game? You know what's actually so funny as you say that? I wonder if you're making fun of me because I always talk to you while you play StarCraft Two. No, but see, you talk to me in this different way. You're not, you're not actually asking me questions. You're talking at yeah. me being like, Tasis, that drop was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. Um, all right, now scan goes off. But we're not looking at it. There it is. Okay, now he's actually upgrading Caddy's reactor, which is medevac energy. And that's just to make his opponent think, oh, you are getting cloak. Yeah. He cancels it as soon as the scan's done. That is scan was high coming. level stuff. Play of the highest level Tasis. That has forced Rain into starting a Raven. He's oh getting a man, raven. OGS top is inside this guy's brain, moving stuff around, messing it up. Can't stop. OGS top. Man. Stuff that rhymes. It's, it's always funny. It's not a crime, I don't know. <laughs> Ready to Sometimes it should be the way we do it. Ugh. All right, Tasteless, it's time for this Banshee so, to show what he's made of. So the Banshee's, oh, hold that thought of rain. 
Uh, you know, I oh. can't believe he even tried to kite that. I mean, there was a Viking in there. So here's the problem, is that the Raven, he has a Raven here and he's saying, okay, no problem. When Cloak comes, he's got to leave. Well, joke's on you, Rain. OGS top isn't even going to get Cloak. He actually just made you get this expensive unit, the, uh, the Raven, which is 200 he's gas. That's so much gas that could have gone to all sorts of different things. You know what's funny? The Banshee has one more range than the Marine. So until a Viking comes out, you must repair that depot. Yeah. Because he put it on the very edge of his base. That's a, a little trick. Against Terran, never put anything exactly on the edge of your base. One matrix C, matrix whatever, before that, so that things like that don't occur. That, you know what's well, funny also is that the um, it didn't die very quickly. The Banshee didn't. So that wasn't enough time for him to confirm the cloak wasn't done. He might have been like, oh, he missed micro or something, but actually, you know, I love builds like this, partially because it's the way I like to play, is to, to go for stuff. stuff. I like to cancel and then change you like my to build. trick people. That's I'm why a you're trickster. a Blanca player. Yeah, I'm a Blanca player and Street Fighter. That's and that's a lot of fun in Team Raid, that entire game is spent with you trying to trick people into letting you throw them. <laughs> Just like in uh, StarCraft 2 with your style tastes. Yep. Trying to trick them into I'm not trying to having fake a Blanca or... ball until I can do a Blanca grab, you know? Yeah. Um, now, uh, we do have uh, the expansions coming up. Now, having a Raven early game, not always that useful. Mid game and late game, I mean, a Raven can be pretty handy. There's a lot of stuff you yeah. can do with a Raven. Ravens are actually really cool. I Those love auto, auto turrets. Auto turrets. Yeah. yeah. Or you could shoot them at she siege tanks. Siege tanks. Mm. Uh oh. But they're Point both defense drone is good against uh, Marauders if your opponent happens to go for them. Yep. So it'd be great if you're against Marine King Prime. It's true. Well, he's not Marauder King Prime, but no. uh, certainly does make some against Sea Chanks. Right now, it is 39 SCVs for top, 36 for rain, supply, 71 for rain, 87 for top. What's up? Top. Already getting ahead with this unbelievable match. You know, it's it's so rare that you see this much of a difference in just supply counts. Yeah. yeah I mean, look, it's okay in, in certain matchups that aren't mere matchups to have a 20 supply difference because one guy's tacking, the other yeah, guy's yeah, expanded. Yeah. yeah. You know, I could see stuff back and forth. But in Terran versus Terran, where they're doing roughly the same thing, yeah, they have a 20 supply else. difference. And again, that's not Rain being bad. It's not like, oh gosh, Rain's so terrible. No, it's just an OGS GSL, top is yeah. so good. Um,. Yeah, it's, it's pretty wild. It's actually, watching OGS top is reminiscent of Sea Shield from StarCraft 1. You're just like, wait, how, what? It, like, you're not the best here in the world, but you have the most units. What's going on? Well, you know, it's, it's funny because it's what you don't see sometimes. It's actually just him in front of his computer making depots and doing everything right. Now, oddly enough, um, top sort of went for his own Zelnaga Watchtower instead of his opponents, and that's going to allow Rain to sort of sneak up here. Meanwhile, just top. Does a drop. Dibbity bop bop. And uh, runs through here. Stimming. I'm going to go for that reactor. Some Marines come back. There's one Some power SMEs. Marine actually inside the medevac. And wow. I couldn't do it. Does end up fighting that off. Poor Rain. Still behind supply wise. 103 to 88. Still about 20 ish behind. 33 SCVs against 53. So Top's done it already. He's already killed off so many SCVs that his economy is just crushing that of Reigns. That is quite a siege line, Tasteless. Oh, this, this feels like World War Run 1 right now. This is really a kind of a bizarre decision by Rain. Yeah, in fact, Top was just scouting Taste's secret hallway. I know. To check if something like this was happening. Well, you know, but, no, you know it's but he doesn't have anything that sees those rocks, Tasteless. He might get into an insanely good position. I can't believe, first of all, he's doing this. Second of all, it's working. I think he knows. Oh, my God. I sense danger. He does sense danger, Tasteless. And four tanks in siege mode, a good group of, uh... Well, here we go. Point defense drones going up. Stop the one Viking. Should have used auto turrets there. Uh, uh, I think Top actually is in trouble. Oh, no, wait, wait, what am I saying? Top? Never. Never. Actually, you know what it is that keeps happening is he just has more stuff at any given point in time. Yeah. Normally, when we see uh, siege tanks and Marines running into 
stimmed Marines and Siege Snakes in Siege Mode. Mm -hmm. You say otherwise, but yeah. I mean, he got a great position there. It did kill off some SCVs. 46 oh, yeah, against little, 36 now. Huh? A little puberty speed came out again. That's what happens with That's what happens, man. You gotta be casting a lot, man. All right, here's the rain again. That's a good surface area there. This uh, gonna do some good damage. Actually, that was a perfect balance of siege tanks and not siege tanks. <laughs> You know what There's I mean? two types of units in this game, Taste. Siege tanks <laughs> and not siege tanks. I just realized that that sounded like when I said it. <coughs> but that was a really good job of sieging some and keeping some in unsiege mode, though. Because, you know, a lot of people that um, you know aren't at high ranks kind of treat siege tanks like they're useless unless they're in siege mode. No, they're great. Yeah, no, they can be very good. But don't use them like nada. <laughs> don't, no. don't attack in a Marine King Prime's huge group of uh, submarines without siege. Hey, see, here's what uh, Top's doing. He's going to control the gold rocks. So, I'm not even, the I'm gold really, rocks. Oh, the, gold, the, the, the golden rocks. Imagine mining those rocks. Oh, he actually gives up that position. He must have sold the medevacs and decided he doesn't have enough marines to cover. Hmm. Could have just dropped right on top of him. You know what kind of bothers me is that Rain is not producing SCVs nonstop. He's behind SCVs oh, yeah. 38 to 58, and he, I keep on looking back at his command centers, and he's just not doing it, Tasteless. He just doesn't care. I think there's something sort of ominous about the way that it feels to play against top, where he just always has more stuff than you. It's, it's all starts with the SCVs. Yeah. If someone gets more SCVs than you, they're going to have more of everything else than you, too. Here comes a little drop by rain. A rain drop? Ooh. Ooh. How do we not come up with this? Is our, on my head. This is like the fifth season. We haven't thought of that with this guy. Nice. It's gonna be a little bit of catching up here. Gotta be careful to avoid that siege tank shot. Whoop. Six Marines remain. Uh oh, but here's the big problem. Yeah. And this, this is, is one of the strongest moves you can do in Terror's turn on this map. Is uh, I, yeah. you just siege up and hit all the stuff in your opponent's domain. Remember what I said at the start of this? The main is actually pretty small here. In fact, Rain is not even going to bother trying to remove that. He realizes he absolutely cannot. He's going to go ahead and counterattack instead. But Pop has more units at home waiting for him than almost units are coming up right now. So, well, the dropships are what are going to make the huge difference. That is for certain. Beautiful uh, drop there. If you didn't yeah. have those medevacs, it would already be over. Instead, going into kind of a base trade scenario, only two siege tanks, so that's the problem. Here come the SCVs. Top realizing all he has to do is erase this drop, and the day is his. And you know what? This is a weird moment where having more SCVs actually plays a huge role in your defense. There it is, GG. Oh, my God. Terran versus oh Terran has always God. been a funny matchup like that. Well, that you? was... Oftentimes you see him in his battles. Oh, yeah, look he's got the morpher. He he's got the morpher. Going straight up the codex. He deserves it. He put that on backwards. Oh, oh no! Only dyslexic tastes can be that. Now you're in code two. Ah. Now, um, <laughs> I gotta say, we don't normally see a Terran versus Terran like that. No. Uh, that was like. That was just so one-sided, I have to say. Top obviously deserves to be in Codes more than You know what that actually looked like? It looked like. Like a high ranking Masters player against like a high ranking Diamond player, extra maybe low ranking Masters player, where it's like, you are so much better than this guy, it's not even close. It was not even close in that series. No, no. It, it, I can't see Top losing a TBT to that guy. He just always has more stuff, and stuff is pretty good. Stuff is what stuff is made of. Wow. We. <laughs> We are actually, you know, there's really just not much else to say about that matchup because it was just top producing more. Rain actually made the sneaky decision that should have worked where he went up uh, through the rock area, destroyed that. Then yeah, that got was to the sneaky. That was sneaky. But it's like Top's like, well, I just got more stuff. He's like, I'll just send all yeah. this stuff over <laughs> here and kill you. And uh, Rain stopped making SCVs. That was pretty bad. Yeah, that was pretty terrible. And losing any SCVs against Top, he's just... I think that's why Top in the early games oftentimes tries to attack your SCV count a little bit because he's like, well, I'm never going to stop SCVs. And most people, they have hiccups in their SCV production. They don't keep it nonstop. Yeah. Top literally makes as many or more SCVs than Nada. This guy is an I SCV think he, uh, machine. I think, I think he actually does make more than Nada. Top is like accurate. the SCV Terran. 
Well, I mean, he is an terrible, orbital terrible. command center, Tasteless. He is. He's actually a mule. But instead of calling down mules, he calls down more SCVs. Wow. Well, uh, it's not top, quite as good as ability. <laughs> top uh, definitely deserves to go on. It's going to be against Hyperdub for the next match. Uh, yes. Hyperdub is very, very, very good. He's very talented. We're just going to have a one-minute break, very short break, so don't go anywhere. I'm Tasis with me as Artosis. We're Tastosis, yeah. casting the up-and-down matches. We'll be back in literally one minute, so don't go anywhere. Don't blink. <laughs> 